Um, my project Grisai um, is a hand-painted uh, virtual reality exhibit. Um, it uses mixed reality, holograms, and sound uh, by Joel Dweck. Um, the entire, mo the majority of the piece is done in tilt brush, and it really kind of documents my journey through VR, through a series of self-portraits, as my idea of self began to shift. The more and more I spent thousands of hours in VR, trying, kind of letting go of the idea of the individual self and coming into this more um, ethereal kind of realization after you are in VR without a body um, and kind of coming into, you know, the like diving into the mind and seeing how um, we're much more connected um, just uh, as, as a collective. Um, so the piece is in two parts. Uh, the first part takes place in an Oculus Go headset um, and it's all done in one shot. And um, the second part of it is takes place um, with my presence and your presence and you become a piece of a collective painting. So, um, and engineering and sound by Joel, the composition is incredible. Um, and yeah. For this one for both of you, what was like the biggest technical challenge for you in making it? Uh, technically, we had a, a uh, 3D volumetric capture of myself from Metastage, and uh, it was just integrating that into the, like, merging the realities, really. Yeah. Uh, merging the virtual world with the real world captures. Um, and it's such a new technology, and yeah. it's, like, incredible that we had the opportunity to, to put that in. But I think also the wireless, the wireless part of things. Yeah, is every... There's so many wireless devices in my installation, headphones, the headset, the controller, the batteries, like, it's, it, and then steam, um, <laughs> trying to get everything to run perfectly all in sync, um, it was, it, it's, it is. <laughs> is still a challenge every day, I'm having to restart things multiple times a day, um, but, you know, it, it, for the most part, everything's working, surprisingly, and the, we have a lot of really amazing docents that are helping us, like, cue everything together, because there's a lot of things that happen in a timely manner in the sequence, so, yeah. And we've had a really good response from people. Uh, uh, I mean, for me, what was originally drew me to Tick's work is in VR and AR, a lot of things are uh, um, housed in game engines. Yeah. And when it comes to the graphics of game engines, it's usually kind of has a look, yeah. right? You know, they get assets from the asset store and stuff like that. And when I first saw Tix work, because everything is hand painted, yeah. it has an enormous heart and soul in it. You know, it's just you feel that it's alive and it's very refreshing. Uh, the other aspect that I think is fascinating, and that's really very much what this piece is based on is using ancient painting techniques establishing but in a in a really cutting edge setting yeah. So the, the name Grisai is actually references an, an old technique of, of creating a sense of three dimensionality in a in a two D flat painting, and that's what she's kind of brought to life. And and I think it's kind of interesting seeing that juxtaposition of the, the, the incredible old and established art painting techniques and the incredibly new um, cutting edge technologies that we're using for VR. Very cool. Yeah. The last thing: where can people find this after Sunday? Good question. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll be... Is there a website or uh, Instagram handle or something? Um, you know, it's kind of a hard piece because my presence and your presence is required. So it's very much a mixed reality piece that requires an installation. So well, we're, hopefully... We're hoping to, to basically bring it to museums around the world. Cool. And that's what we're working on now. It's one of the things we're hoping to get out of Sundance. Where can people keep up with you? Just your handle. Um, Teek Mock, uh, my Instagram. T-E-E-K-M-A-C-H. Cool. 